Here's a quick show and tell of how to get started with the sail timer wind instrument. Hopefully you'll see here that it's not as complicated as instructions might make it appear. We'll show how to receive the wind speed and wind direction on an iPad and iOS here, although the same principles apply in Android. You use the sail timer API to receive the data, which then hands it off to a chart plotter app or racing app. So the first thing you do is get the API from the App Store or through the link on sailtimerwind.com and then log in. That allows you to share your data through our online database and view real-time wind maps and other features as they become available. Your login will stay there for a long time. You won't need to log in very often. When you're ready to receive data, click Scan for Devices. You'll only need to do that the first time because usually it will try to do that automatically. Then it will display your wind instrument as you can see on the line here. So that's the basic setup. After the first time it mostly happens automatically. Then next time you come back to the boat in settings, turn on the GPS with location services and the Bluetooth, open the API and you'll see that it tries to connect like this and shows the data it's receiving. There are a few options under the I to the right of the wind instrument name. One is that you can name your own device uh, in case there are multiple wind instruments in your marina, for example. Once you name your device and it's automatically connecting to it, it won't display other devices to keep things simple. In the upper right corner, there's a disconnect button that you can use to save power in the iPad and the wind instrument when you're not using them. Then if you press the reconnect button later, you'll see that the connection comes back automatically. The wind instrument sends data every second, which is twice as fast as in our previous wireless anemometer. And of course the goal is to be able to receive the wireless data into the iPad through the API and hand that data off to an app that you use for racing or chart plotting or a wind gauge. This is the sail timer app but the wind instrument is also designed to be able to be used by other third-party apps. But using the Sail Timer app or Sail Timer Charts Edition app as an example, what you would do is go into Input and then Setup and then select this button Use Wireless Wind Data. Then the wind direction will start to move around your location, uh, which in this case is with the yellow dot on the upper right. It also will move on the wind speedometer and you can see the arrow going around for direction here when the speedometer is large. It also happens when the speedometer is small. And you can also display a graph of the apparent and true wind speed and boat speed. Finally, the digital compass in the wind instrument can be fine-tuned, the same as compasses have been adjusted on ships for centuries to account for magnetic fields. If you need to do this, there is an innovative control under advanced settings that lets you check the directions of north, east, south, and west, and simply press the button for each direction to fine-tune it more precisely. So that's how you can transmit through the air from the wind instrument to an app on a mobile device.